I would say to any school that has computer labs available still, uh, this is a very accessible thing that you can add that will add another dimension to your st existing STEM or STEAM program and draw in a new kind of student into the arts. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal, Farmers. This is actually um, some of the leading authorities in audio production and electronic music uh, production pedagogy uh, with Will Kuhn, Lawrence Gray, and Thomas Folds, all part of uh, Ableton certified trainers with Ableton. And so we wanted to bring them here to offer uh, professional education to a lot of our area music teachers um, that are interested in possibly pursuing uh, this line of curricula in their um, schools. Lawrence and I go way back, we were the first uh, teachers involved with the PUSH initiative, getting these devices into schools, and uh, we both have programs of our own that are very active. A lot of traditional music ensembles are based around classical music and performing music that other people wrote, and what we're able to do now with technology is create music from an earlier stage in development, and uh, we can really swiftly respond to trends in music. So a new genre of music comes down the road and everybody's listening to this now. We can break that down and learn how to make it, and which is very enticing to students. Things like Ableton Live, Soundtrap, these are meta instruments. These allow musicians, teachers, whoever, to play all of the instruments at once. And as Will said, you used to have to write the notes down and give it to an instrumentalist and then they would play it. But now the results are immediate and you can share these sounds in culturally relevant, meaningful ways for students. It's not just flutes and pianos anymore, which, you know, flutes and pianos are great, um, but we also should make space for 808s that can shake the car with the bass and big booming synthesizers and, sna and, sna and snare drums and stuff. So digital audio workstations are a real sea change in how we think about music making and what an instrument is. Students from my classes find success in new ways that uh, we used to kind of funnel kids into music performance and music education programs, which we still do. But we also can now send students to broadcasting, communication, electronic media, and uh, some of my students have gone on to do high profile audio careers. Uh, I have a s former student currently serving as the audio director of The Sphere in Las Vegas. Uh, I've had several students go on to uh, have their own production companies and do shows and you know, either be a DJ or some kind of performer, you know, touring with rock bands, things like that. I think band orchestra choir can oftentimes mean white, can mean suburban, can mean privileged. And there are literally infinite numbers of cultures outside of that that have to check themselves at the door when they're trying to play a certain type of song that uh, the band director chose. By making something culturally relevant, you're actually making space for the student to do their thing. I would say to any school that has computer labs available still. Uh, this is a very accessible thing that you can add that will add another dimension to your st existing STEM or STEAM program and draw in a new kind of student into the arts. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal, Farmers.